Hey everybody, welcome to Friday, Facebook Friday today, November 1st, 2019. I'm gonna give everybody just a few minutes to hop on while I find it on my um, device so that I can see what you guys are saying. And I just had a little panic moment thinking, did I, did I go into my group before I went live? <laughs> if you've ever done Facebook Friday, you know it's a little, or Facebook Live, it's a little, ah, nerve wracking. I think we're in the right place. Hello, everybody who's joining me. Good to see you guys. Okay, let's see, I can see you. Lisa, hi. And Connie, hello. Good, I'm glad you guys are here. Hi, Gina. Okay, so I told you guys yesterday, Happy Halloween, get ready for Christmas tomorrow, <laughs> right? It seems like the stores and everybody starts, you know, immediately with uh, with Christmas, um, right after, if not even before Halloween. So that's what we're doing, not to cram Christmas down your throat, but um, we have a brand new suite of Christmas products that starts today. So I feel like it's important to show you guys and let you see it. Um, and also, like I told my stamp club this morning, um, now's the time to start thinking about what you need for your Christmas uh, crafting, your cards, your treats, whatever you're gonna do, you need to order those soon so that they have time to get to you. And then so you have time to create, right? If we wait till December 15th to order those supplies, we're not gonna have very long to create our Christmas things. So start thinking ahead. You know, if you know what you need, jot it down, plan it out, and order those Christmas products from us that you love the most, order them first. Because as the catalog nears the end, you guys know what happens. Things are on back order, things um, get turned off occasionally when Stampin' Up! says we've oversold, you know, we don't have enough to fill orders uh, till the end of the catalog. So make sure you get what you need quickly. And as a heads up, there are a lot of things right now on the low inventory list and a lot of things on the back order list. Stampin' Up! has done a great job of turnover lately. Um, if something goes on back order, it seems to come back really quickly. Um, so, you know, if you put your order in now, you still have plenty of time to get them, even if they are on back order. Okay? Okay, hello! All of you are saying hello. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to, oh, where did I do it? Where did I put it? We're gonna talk about the Christmas time is here sweet. I've been kind of teasing you guys with it for a while. It's all available to order. Oh, and the paper trimmer. We're gonna use that today too. I hope I can find that. I hope, I, I hope it's in its place where it's supposed to be. You know how that happens where you go to get something it's not where it's supposed to be? Anyway, the new trimmer is available today too. Yay, so exciting. Um, okay, so I want to just take a few minutes before we start stamping and talking really about Christmas time is here. Um, and I wanna show you my new classes to go. I announced them earlier in the week, so this will be the first time I'm showing you them on Facebook Friday. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Um, also, <laughs> you guys, I have a new phone. Got a new phone on Sunday and I'm still trying to figure it out. It's the new um, 11. Pro, um, and and let me tell you, I'm like an old lady who doesn't know how to do technology. I feel very um, cumbersome, you know, like, oh, I don't know how to do this. So anyways, also, you guys, I'm sure you would tell me by now if you couldn't hear me, right? New phone, plug in the microphone in, who knows what's going to happen. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay, so let's talk about the classes to go. Um, this is the stamp -a stack This is the snow front stamp -a stack um, I will tell you that this is not my typical type of stamp set, if that makes sense, but I loved it. And it is very, very similar to our other one called Waterfront that was like hugely popular when it came out last spring. So this is very similar in style, kind of um, coordinates very well with that one if you have that one. Um, so I chose to make my Christmas stamp -a stack for November using this stamp set. Um, so in the class to go, you will get enough supplies to make 10 cards, just like the Elfie class. Um, it'll be two cards um, per design. That makes it a little bit easier when you're mass producing. And you'll get your envelopes. Um, you'll get everything that you need except for ink. And I think there's some other things listed like gold embossing powder and snow puff paint. 
uh, consumable. Well, that's not really the right word, but you know, those things that usually last a really long time. What you do get in this class are 10 cards, um, enough supplies to make 10 cards, the snow front stamp set, if you need it, a bolt of gold shimmer ribbon, which is part of our new suite of Christmas time is here products and the gold glitter dots. I am in love with both of these. That's part of the class kit. Um, and did I say the envelope? So 10 cards, 10 envelopes, ribbon, and gold glimmer dots. You can get option one with a stamp set, um, option two without the stamp set. PDF only is already available in my PDF store. The other part of this is there is an add-on and it's the Itty Bitty Christmas. As you can see, this stamp set has no sentiments, right? So I had to pull some sentiments from another set. So if you get this class, you can add this one on. And I always um, discount these a little bit if you're adding something onto my class to go kits. I don't charge you the tax and shipping, I pay those. Um, um, but anyway, you can either add this on or you can use, if you have other Christmas sets, you can always use other Christmas sentiment sets. The, the one you really, really need um, is this one, the snow front. So like, um, where's that one? We'll pull that back out right there. So, you know, I mean, sentiments are easily um, substituted. Okay, so that's class, that's my stamp -a stack um, let's see, option one with the stamp set is 63, option two without the stamp set is 35, PDF is 15, my Sweet Stamp team always gets them for 15, or for a very large discount, they get the kit for $15 shipped, um, they ship priority mail, um, let's see, blah, 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 what else, oh, the other part is that this can ship for free with the next class, so if you buy both of these classes, I am going to combine them and ship them, um, for one price, I, you guys ask me to do that a lot, um, and I normally don't do it because if you could see what it looks like on this end, it's very hard to, to see who's, who's, you know, over here, who's this one, and then a lot of times that this stuff doesn't fit in the same envelope, but I believe that these can. So that'll be an option that you can choose. This is the second class, Cup of Christmas, which is one of my favorite stamp sets in the entire holiday catalog. Um, it lends itself perfectly to um, your, you know, Christmas treats. So this is all Christmas treats. Um, we've got a, let's see if I can pull these out without destroying them, a, what do you call this, cake in a cup? Mm-hmm. So cute. And you know what? I've made one of these too for pumpkin spice cake in a cup and I haven't done anything with it. I need to show you guys. Uh, a 3K cup stacker, a cocoa pouch, a little candy caddy, a larger box maybe for homemade treats, and a smaller box for just candy. So this class comes, again, several options. You can get it with the stamps and dies, without the stamps and dies. Um, both come with the bolt of ribbon and everything that you need to make. Oh, I have two in here. <laughs> I thought I didn't have one in there, so I stuck it in there. Um, so now I have two, but you only get one. Um, let's see, so option one with the stamps and dies, option two without. Similar pricing, 63.33. Um, if you want the snow front stamp set, no, if you want the snow front stamp a uh, stack, words are hard today, again, when you register for that one, there's an option there that says send this for free with my cup of Christmas class, okay? Um, let's see what else. November 18th deadline on both of those. I'm gonna be cutting like a ton. I'm gonna be cutting my retreats and this and the snow front all in the same week. So prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Please pray for me. November 18th, I'll have those in the mail. My deadline for myself is November 26th, fingers crossed, okay? Okay, so that's that. Let's look at, oh, did I not pull out the prizes? What is wrong with me? I have, I picked the winners. What did I do with the post-its? Oh my goodness, you guys, what's wrong with me? Hold on. I was so excited that I forgot to pull them out. They're over here. Let's see. I don't remember what were the prizes. Well, pooey. I know who the winners are. Did I pull them out? Are they over here? Are they hiding? Well, I will tell you, last week's winners. Man, I wrote them down. Oh, I'm not going to make you guys wait for me. Let me look one more time over here. Where did I put them? Who knows? Okay, I will write it down again so that I will not forget. I know these names, ready? Debbie Green, 
you are winner number one of whatever the prize was last week. <laughs> I can't even remember. What was it? I have to pull it out of the cabinet. It's in there somewhere. Debbie Green and Don Hutchins. I have both of your mailing addresses. That's so funny. I don't even know what I did with the post-its. So congratulations to you two. You're getting two really good prizes. You saw them last week. I cannot for the life of me remember what they were, but I'm sure you'll like them. <laughs> okay, this week's prizes. How about Seasonal Reese, the stamp set we used last week, and extra kit i mean extra sets of make and takes aha uh -huh, i got smart and cut extras last week so i could give them away as prizes this week so if you didn't get them last week now's your chance share the video and next week i'll pick two winners and i will send them to you all right okie dokie so that's that um we have a new tutorial bundle out today um there was a blog hop that went up last night in the middle of all the trick-or-treating and um, it's there today. If you go back one post to last night's post, you'll see it, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Uh, it is 12 different tutorials from 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And I haven't even totally looked through it, but most of it, I believe, is gonna be Christmas. Not all of it, um, but most of it'll be Christmas. A lot of it is using what we're, what we're using today. So if you put in an order anytime in November for $50 or more, I will email this to you for free. I email them out about once a week. I just sent last week's out this morning. Okay, so several ways to qualify. You spend $50 online with me, you get it for free, or you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. And that link is on yesterday's post as well. And I'm gonna show you my project it is so cute. Where is it? I have all this Christmas time stuff to show you. Oh man, my tag got smeared. But anyway, it's so cute. It's a little box. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? All of that. So this project is in the tutorial bundle and it's going to perfectly coordinate with what we are making today. Now the other card that was on that blog post, we always show you a sneak peek of our project because I'm not supposed to show it to you. And then we show you a second project and here's the second project. They go to together pretty well, don't they? I stuck with the colors in the DSP, which you'll see in a minute, but this time I watercolored it. I'm going to show you today how to color this giant rose. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. And I'm obsessed with splattering that gold ink, that gold glitz ink. We're going to do that today too. Okay. So did I explain that? Free with a $50 order. I will email it to you or you can buy it in my PDF store or you can join my team because they get all my PDFs for free every time. Okay. I think we are ready. Let's see. If you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, here's how it goes. I pick a product. Um, or a theme. Uh, I used to be a kindergarten teacher, so I like themes. <laughs> and then I designed three projects um, with that product. I have a PDF that I type up for you, and each project is listed. It has all the product numbers and prices and everything and any measurements that you might need, as well as links to those two things that I showed you just a minute ago. So right now at pinkbucker.com, you can hop over there and find this it, there's a bunch of pictures today um, because I showed you a few other things on there. So it's under the last photo. You'll see the link. Hopefully it's blue. Um, and that'll take you to the PDF. And let's see. Yeah, that's all I need to tell you about that. I don't, my mind's going a mile a minute. I have a thousand things to do. We're going to ca see cats tonight on Broadway. And then tomorrow we have volleyball and a birthday party, my daughter's birthday party. And then we're going to my mom's. And then Sunday is my daughter's birthday. It's just crazy. And Halloween. Oh, the time of year, right? It just is just so many things. Um, and we haven't even gotten to Christmas yet. Okay, so that is a pink back room. If you put in an order... Um, between now and Monday at midnight, that is over $35. I'm gonna send you the projects that we're doing today for free. I'll send you all the supplies. And they come like this, although you can't really see this tag. It's so cute, I wanted you to see it. See how cute it is? I make you a little tag, and I put all your supplies in there, and I put your label, and I mail it to you typically 
the following Wednesday. So today's things will probably ship next Wednesday, okay? Um, this week's Facebook Friday stuff went out on Thursday, a day late, because again, I was waiting on an order from Stampin' Up! Um, for something, one of the card stocks. Okay, let's get started. Now that you know all the stuff that I needed to tell you. Now, you know what? Let's look. Let's go over on here to um, Stampin' Up! And I'm going to show you, Stampin' Up! right there. I'm going to show you this Christmas time is here suite. It's right at the top. Will it turn? Yeah, it's right at the top. Right here, you just click on it. And everything I'm gonna show you today is on here. Um, this is limited time product. It is only available while supplies last. That may be before the end of November, but they've also said there's no specific cutoff time. So if there's lots of product left, it'll stretch into December. However, if you are familiar with Stampin' Up, you know how this goes. If something's extremely popular, it is gonna go fast. So make sure you look at it and see if you want it. So there's a stamp set. There's the bundle, the stamp set and the dies. There's paper, ribbon, enamel dots. Um, then you can buy the dies by themselves. You can buy the stamps by yourself. But the other thing that you can do is buy the entire suite of products. You're like, yep, I want every bit of it. So you, it's just one number right there, okay? There's another little thing. I don't know why I'm showing you on here when I have it, but I just wanted to show you where it is on the website. Right when you go there, just click right there, okay? All right, let's go back and turn that and move that. My daughter finally saved up enough money to get her own iPad and she's not borrowing mine anymore. I'm so excited. It's finally charged. <laughs> it finally has juice and I don't have to go look for it. Okay, the first thing is the stamp set. So there's two, there's something really interesting about the stamp set you'll notice right away. One is red rubber, which is the big, um, outline that's because red rubber we can get really good crisp detail in so this one is red rubber but the rest of the pieces are in our photopolymer um, so that you can see where you're stamping them because they're all the fill-in pieces the color okay and I'm going to show you today how to get those lined up and how to make it really beautiful then there's the paper and I don't know which is my favorite of the whole suite but I can tell you that the paper is probably what's my favorite. Now, what I love about this is that Stampin' Up! knows we're probably going to be using this to make Christmas cards. So we have more sheets. We have three different designs, but we have four of each of them. So one, two, three, four. Let me show you this set first. This is the big flower. It looks just like the one that you can stamp. And guess what? The dies will cut this flower out. So I'm going to show you how to stamp, but then if you're like, mm, that's too much work for me, then just get the dies and the paper, okay? Because you can achieve the same effect. But with the stamps, you can change the colors, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so there's that. And on the background, it's just, you know, kind of like a, I don't know, just a pattern with pine cones. Then there's this. It also has gold foil in it. So you've got four sheets of each design, remember. Okay, can you see the shiny? And then on the back is a monochromatic, more um, simple pattern, which I love. When you put simple with a more complicated, busy pattern, perfect. And then this one, cherry cobbler and gold foil. And on the other side, look how fun this is. This is um, Poppy Parade and Old Olive. They've put Poppy Parade and cherry cobbler together and you think it's not gonna work, but look, it totally works. They're so smart. Okay, so there's the paper, and we're gonna cut that up in a minute with our new paper trimmer. Um, I showed you the dies. The dies will cut out that flower. We're gonna use a little lattice, but it also has two labels that you can use for all kinds of things, right? I am obsessed with these. I've started holding out my label shape dies from my sets and just leaving them out so that when I'm making something and I need a shape, I can just see them all at one time and pull them. Um, I don't know, I love them. Okay, so there's that. Then the ribbon, which we'll be using, and the enamel dots. Well, they're, yeah, glitter enamel dots. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. And you know, if you wanted to, um, if you're a demonstrator too, and you wanted to include these in your class, or you wanted to split these with a friend, I love that they left a space here for us to 
cut them completely in half, right? Sometimes it doesn't happen like that, but I don't know. That's how my brain thinks. Now here's the really cute part of this suite. There's a cute little bracelet that looks like the Alex and Ani bracelets and it has that rose and a little Stampin' Up. Wouldn't that just make a cute little gift? And the box matches the paper and you can make a gorgeous card um, to go with it. The bracelet is $22, which if my memory serves me right, I can't remember. Alex and Ani bracelets, I feel like they're about $25, $30. So not too terribly expensive and um, very similar and beautiful and would make a nice gift for someone that uh, maybe likes to craft or someone who you don't know what to buy them for right we have those people in our life we're like i have no idea what to do um, for that person so this would be a fun thing and this is part of that sweet pricing if you buy the whole suite right here maybe you buy the whole suite for you but you give that as a gift and that's $22 worth of what you paid for the whole suite so anyway I don't know I just really I just was I don't know enamored with it I love it stamping up so smart okay so let's get started let me get organized now the first card we are gonna actually use that stamp and whoa whoop there goes the camera sorry guys my Stamparatus plate slipped off. Here's the thing you need to know about the stamp. It's gorgeous. And once you get it lined up on your Stamparatus, it's gonna be no problem to ma mass produce. But if you try to do this um, without a Stamparatus, you may not be as successful. So if you don't have a Stamparatus, Christmas is coming. Tell somebody you love that you want a Stamparatus and hopefully it'll be under your tree. Um, it is one of my most used stamp tools. It's really, really great. And we're gonna use, first we're gonna start, and by the way, what I'm gonna do today, I saw somebody else do on YouTube and I thought it was brilliant. We're gonna emboss at the end, um, which just kind of cleans the whole thing up and makes it nice and crisp, okay? All right, so so that I know that my paper is always exactly where it's supposed to be, I'm gonna put it up here in this corner, okay? I am gonna use my magnets, but when I put these photopolymer stamps on here in a minute, sometimes it picks that paper up and moves it, but if we just make sure that it's bumped up exactly where it's supposed to be against both, both edges, then everything will line up, okay? So hopefully I cleaned my stamp the last time I used it. We're going to put that right in the middle of that Whisper White. That's just a quarter sheet of Whisper White. And I'm gonna start, I didn't show you what we're making. Would you like to see what we're making? This card right here. Can you see the embossing? Gold embossing is awesome. And look, oh, shocker, more splatters of gold. So pretty. You know, I probably should do that. You know what? We'll do that at the end. No worries. Okay, let's stamp it. And then I'm going to show you two that I've made in two different colors because this, I have used the colors from the designer series paper because I like when I put all three projects together and they coordinate, but you don't have to. You can totally do all other colors. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, we're going to start with crumb cake, just a light color. Okay, crumb cake or Sahara sand. And we're going to stamp this right there okay now I'm gonna turn actually let's clean that so we don't get ink on everything just take your chamois and clean that up like that and then I'm gonna take my plate off and I'm gonna switch it now I'm gonna leave all my stamps on here because if I want to make a bunch of these then they are gonna be all set up and I can just like a little factory worker you know, and, and mass produce. Well, that's not gonna work either. I don't like how that's bumping around, but I'll deal with it. Okay, so I've turned that around. I'm gonna take my rose, and yes, your red inks will stain your rose. Don't worry, it still works. You can see through it. And I got some, looks like I have some stays on on there, which I have no idea how that happened, but it's seen a lot of use. Now, I'm gonna have to stick my head in here Hopefully I can see and you guys can see, but you wanna spend a few seconds really making sure that it's lined up around all the edges, okay? All right, make sure your magnets are on your paper. 
and oh by the way I do have my foam on here the foam is for photopolymer but as you can see it works with your red rubber too okay just um, makes it a little higher when you stamp but it's not going to change the stamping for this but you have to have it for that photopolymer it comes with your stamparatus all right so pick that up on your plate and let's do cherry cobbler right did I do cherry cobbler yeah <laughs> well for a minute I can't remember what I did hello to everyone who's just joined us all right so now this stamp set is called Christmas Rose by the way the suite of products is called Christmas time is here okay now let's see oh see what happened right there I didn't stamp it very well so I'm gonna just lay it back down and stamp voila now this um, stamp set is our distinctive design so you can see you've got different kinds of shading in there um, it's like a laser etched in the photopolymer okay so we've got that I'm gonna take this plate off and grab the next plate now we'll get the leaves and we'll do all the leaves and you can see how the first time you do this it's a little oh you know time consuming complicated maybe I don't know if I ne necessarily call this complicated but it takes a little while to get set up but then because you can just leave it all on your plates everything after that is a breeze um, when I had it set up the other day making this card I just left it there and, and stamped it in several other colors Wiggle your stamp around, make sure you get it exactly where it needs to be. Okay, and lay your plate down again. Open it up, and this time we're gonna do Old Olive. I didn't clean that stamp over there. I wonder if I'm gonna put my sleeve in it. That's what happens to me. Last night I had nail polish on something and laid my sleeve down on it because that's how I roll y'all that's how I roll all right old olive for all the branches and the leaves see look at that oh it's so fun it's like a little puzzle all right now here's the last one and these are the berries and I will tell you that the first time I played with this I had a really hard time getting the berries lined up but I'll show you a trick um, when you stamp, if the berries aren't lined up, just grab your um, marker or stamp and blend. Where does this one go? It always takes me a minute to figure it out. No, no. What? Where does it go? I guess it is here. And then you fill in those that didn't stamp, and then you can't even tell. Okay. You'll see in a minute, I'll show you. All right, they stick to your fingers. Sometimes that can be a hard, um, hard thing about getting them lined up. Oh, come on. Okay. And Lisa says, clean it. Clean, no, did those go there? I always get these mixed up, these three. And if this one is too tedious, which sometimes I feel like it kind of is, then do this part with your Stampin' Blends or your marker. Um, let's see, there we go. Okay, nobody breathe. They're all in the right place. There we go. Okay, whew. Now we're gonna do that Poppy Parade. Be careful not to get ink on your Stamparatus plate, which I just did. If you have your little spots from your paper pumpkin, those ink spots, they work really well on um, um, stamps that are on your Stamparatus. All right, I was totally off, so I'm gonna show you. Ready? Let me grab my stamp and blend. Now just go in and fill those in. The other day, it was like hit or miss when I would line them up. Sometimes I would get them and sometimes I didn't. But then you can't really even tell because they're all just tiny little circles. 
and they're so cute little berries. I actually have been seeing some winter berries. I don't know, even know what they're called around here. It must be time for Christmas. We had cold weather last night, you guys. Okay, so see, there you go. Now, I'm gonna take that, that plate off. It definitely feels like Christmas around here and not, um, not Halloween. We don't normally get super cold weather this early in the year. Okay, here we go. Now, there is a pine cone stamp and you use the same pine cone for all three pine cones. And I'm doing it in soft suede, but I'm stamping off first and then stamping, stamping off. Turn it a little bit and stamp it. Turn it and stamp it. And there we go. All right, so now we are done. However, it's a little bit muted, right? Well, let's emboss the outline. So I'm gonna bring back this one from the beginning. And remember, it's in the same place, so it's gonna line up perfectly. And I'm gonna clean that, because that's the one I think I forgot to clean. Okay, now. I'm gonna take my embossing buddy, and this ink is still fresh, and so we want to emboss it really well, okay? I mean, um, rub with your embossing buddy really well. Then grab your Versamark. Oh, I don't like my table like this. I like everything in its little basket. This week I just spread everything out because I'm using all the same stuff, <laughs> but it doesn't feel right. I need my little organized baskets. All right, Versamark, let's lay it down. Can't really see anything yet. Oh my goodness, look at my hands. Stamparatus is messy. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that's messy. All right, gold embossing powder. Don't worry about all this. We're gonna, we're gonna die cut it. I bet some of you are super nice and neat stampers. I know some of you are like, yep, not as messy as you, Erica. That's okay, artists are messy. Okay, so we've done gold embossing powder. We'll move that out of the way. Let's get the heat gun and heat it up. This is the heat tool that you need when you're embossing. And that die that I showed you that cuts out the um, paper also cuts out this image as well. All right, we're starting to get shiny and look at that. I should have restamped that. I could, my, my stamps are still there on the plate, so I could stick it back on there if I wanted. Let's see, can you guys see how that gold is just popping out and giving us a definite line around all of our colors? So pretty, I would really like to play with this, find some time and try this in lots of different colors and lots of different embossing powders. Isn't that gorgeous? Hey, Kate, good, you're as messy as me? Yeah, I know. I do make myself clean up after I do a project. Otherwise, I would just, I would lose everything. After every project, I make myself clean up. Okay, there it is. Nice and shiny. Okay, oh my gosh, look at the time. I'm talking too much. Okay, let's cut this out. Where did my dies go? <laughs> right here tomorrow no not tomorrow um sunday is my youngest birthday so you know how we have to do it we drag it out today we had cupcakes at school and lunch and she was so funny she i was you know she's in fifth grade now so she's like a lit not really too cool for me but a, but but getting there right die on the image um <laughs> And so I just dropped off the lunch and the cupcakes, but she was texting me for like half an hour before. Mommy, don't forget. Mommy, go. You need to leave now to go to McDonald's um, to get my stuff in case they take a long time. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> I was like, child, I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry. We call her boss lady. She's very bossy. Ta-da. Isn't that awesome? So awesome. All right. Now we're going to do a watercolor wash on the background um just a piece of watercolor paper 
And this is an aqua painter and it's got water in it. Nathan, it looks like a tornado when you craft. I know. And me too. And although, I don't know, I've gotten better because I just find that chaos, I've put water all down there, just plain water. Now I'm gonna get um, soft sea foam. <laughs> And you guys, when you type soft seafoam, guess what it auto-corrects to? Soft seafood. Just in case you would like to know, and if you ever see it in any of my um, planners, it's auto-correct. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Nathan, I am a messy um, crafter too. I have gotten better though over the years because chaos causes me to just shut down. Um, disorganization and messes and chaos causes me to just shut down. So I have found that I really have to kind of, you know, clean up where I just can't work. Okay, now we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back and finish this card at the end, okay? But let me show you the other two that I made. This is the same card. Here's our card that we're making in the colors that I just did. But how about if you did balmy blue and um, oh, blueberry bushel, a blue rose. And here's my favorite, Daffodil Delight Rose with crushed curry. Uh, no, no, Mango Melody Berries. Fun, right? I would like to do pink and purple, but I didn't have time. So you guys should play around with that. Isn't that beautiful? Christmassy, not so Christmassy. You could change the sentiment and make it not a Christmas card. Okay, so project number one, we're putting on hold while we wait for that to dry. We're gonna move that over. So as you guys can see, the stamp set is not simple. That's what I'm gonna say, it's not simple. It's definitely doable, but it's not super simple. And some of you are simple stampers and there is nothing wrong with that. And you're saying to me, um, let's not do that many, that many stamps. And you know what, that's fine because we have paper and you can, let me pull out a sheet, you can just cut out the image with the dies. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off, there's two different flowers on this paper. There's this one that matches the die and this one that doesn't match the die, okay? So don't go crazy trying to make that die um, fit that one. Um, but we're gonna actually fussy cut that one in a few minutes as well. Where did I put the big shot? Where did it go? Oh, way over here. All right, we're gonna just, I'm gonna show you how you can cut this one out like this. And while we're here, I think I'll cut them both out because we're gonna, for the third project, we're gonna use this one as well. You gotta really kind of turn and twist it to get it around all those berries. All right. Hello, everybody who's joining. Thanks for joining, TGIF. You know, there's always a fun, fun in the, in the atmosphere on Fridays. Although I like Mondays, <laughs> because that means everybody goes back to school and work, and I have peace and quiet to work at my house. When you work at home, that's kind of nice. All right, we're gonna save this one for later. We're gonna put that over there. And while we're here, Let's take the little label. And if I ever tried to do this without making my little baskets, you guys pull my hair and tell me, Erica, no, put all your stuff in your little baskets because you're gonna make a mess and you're not gonna know where everything is. All right, here's a little smaller label right here. So we've got that one out of Whisper White. Now we're gonna emboss this piece of early espresso that is just four by five and a fourth, where did my other platform go? Right here, with one of my favorite embossing folders, our 3D Pinewood Planks. Now there's lots of confusion about the, the 3D embossing folders. If you have the old version prior to this catalog, you just use one regular plate. But if you have bought Pinewood Planks embossing folders since June 1st, you need to use that purple um, plate that has come out since then because Stampin' Up! dies changed manufacturer and they're a little bit different so you have to use a different plate. And there's no real way to tell, there's no marking on them or anything. So you're just gonna have to remember, is this new or is this old? 
Okay, so let's put this one. Oh, no, no, no. Come back. Come back. The best part of this card is the lattice. So this cutie right here is the lattice piece. And I'm going to cut it out twice of soft seafood. No, soft sea foam. <laughs> Every time I now now say soft sea foam, I think I have to stop soft sea foam because my stupid computer changes it to seafood every time. And then we have the seaside spray, which just throws me completely into a tizzy. Is it soft seaside spray? No. Oh, it's confusing. Too similar. Okay, now we've got our two lattice pieces. So grab your brush you take your pick tool and let's unscrew this and screw this in and these cut beautifully see how easily all those little pieces come out all the little doodads and then if you really like to be tedious you could use these little <laughs> doodads on a card not me those are going in the trash they're too tiny whoa almost dropped it oh then i would be picking them up for days all right, we're ready to put our card together. We have a soft sea foam <laughs> card base. Let's put our pine wood planks. Uh oh, I need to get another one. Um, pine wood planks, early espresso. Um, cardstock piece there. Now, for time's sake, I'm going to use glue dots on this. However, um, if we were not under time constraints of a live video, I would use my fine tip glue pen and um, glue this down and wait for it to dry. Put something heavy on it. But we don't have time for that today because I have to go pick up the birthday boss lady. The birthday boss lady. Now you'll notice, look, we're gonna have to overlap a little bit, but if you'll see here, you can't see it, okay? Birthday boss lady can't ride her bike, carry her violin, and her extra cupcakes home. So, Mama will have to go get her. Usually on Fridays, she'll say, I know, you have Facebook Friday today, so I will ride my bike home. She's kind of over that, though. She doesn't like to exert herself. <laughs> okay, let's get that ribbon. Where did I put my ribbon over? Oh, I don't want to open a brand new one. Okay, good. Here is this ribbon, and we're gonna do kind of a fold, fold down, ripple of ribbon. That is not an official term. I have no idea what you would call this, but that's what I'm calling it. So I put a glue dot there. Let me grab my, where do they go? Take your pick tool, it's way in the back. And we're gonna use, no, we don't want that in. Well, how about this one? Okay, now I'm gonna grab a glue dot. Hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna put that glue dot underneath here first, and then grab another glue dot, and I'm gonna put it on top and just fold that over a little bit like that. Okay, so we're kind of doing almost like little pleats. Fold one down, or adhere one little piece down, then put a glue dot on top and fold over a loop. Can you guys see how I'm doing that? Or if you have a sewing machine, you could actually sew right on your card. If you've never done that and you are a sewer, you need to try it. I used to do it all the time. My sewing machine sewed better on cardstock than it did on fabric. Okay, so there we've got that. Just a little kind of ruffle down the Edge. Let me show you on the side. You see how that is? Pretty, right? And then we're gonna grab our um, rose from the DSP. I'm not looking at your comments. Oh, I'm distracted if I look at them. Thank you, Mary. The multi-purpose adhesive sheets on the lattice deb. Yes, me too, but they're not available anymore. Unfortunately, they retired. But yes, if I had some of those, that's exactly what I would be using. Okay, 
So now I put that on with dimensionals. Let's grab the sentiment. This time I'm gonna use something different than what I used originally. May this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. My downline Terry loves sentiments. I bet she likes these too. These are from the Christmas Rose set as well. Thanks Shannon, I'm glad you like that technique with the ribbon. I hope you guys could see that. It's kind of hard to show. All right, now last but not least, let's open these lovely, lovely, lovely glitter dots. You will get a pack of these if you, hmm, I don't know if this is gonna work. It's been kind of sticking out, let's get some new. You'll get a pack of these with your snow front class to go if you get that class. Um, so there, there's a variety of sizes here, so you can really just, you know, play around with it. But I put two here and two there, and voila. You know, I said it was simpler, but I don't think it was that much simpler, do you? Look, this one I can see a little bit better than this ruffle over here. So put your ruffle a little further over and kind of slant that glue dot so that you can see that ruffle. All right, there you go, project number two. What do you guys think? Uh-oh, Charlie heard tires in the cul-de-sac, here he comes. <laughs> okay, last but not least, the gold pizza box. And this, I, um, I saw somebody else, one of the artisans do a gold box with this, and oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous, so I had to do it. If you have not seen our gold pizza boxes, they come like this, they come in packs of eight, and they're in the holiday catalog. Look at them, are you blinded? <laughs> they are so beautiful. They have um, a wax coating on the inside, so if you wanna make cookies, if you do cookies at Christmas, these will be great for that. You fold these little sides in, and then this one kind of, you fold it over and it snaps down into the, those, little, those little openings right there. And then you fold this one in, and these little sides go in. And there you have your very fancy gold box. All right, let's see, where's the new trimmer? Who's gonna order the new trimmer? Who's gonna tell Santa to bring them the new trimmer? It is only $25, which I find a very reasonable price for a paper trimmer. We're gonna do three and a fourth by three and a fourth, all right? So there's that. And three and a fourth and three and a fourth, right there. All right, now, we're gonna adhere this. Uh-oh, let's see, do I have adhesive over here that I can use? Yes. All right, three and a fourth by three and a fourth will cover the pizza box top, giving you a little bit of a, maybe like a quarter or an eighth of an inch frame around it. Then remember that flower we cut out earlier? We're gonna get that and we're gonna put that on here. And I just knocked my dimensionals down. Let me grab them. No, no, those are my mini dimensionals. They're right here. If it was a snake. All right, a couple of dimensionals. Now, you could just leave it like that, but you know me, we can't just leave it like that. So, I'm gonna take this piece, remember this flower doesn't have a die, and I'm gonna fussy cut some of these flowers and the leaves. And I'm not gonna even mess with those berries, there's no way, so don't worry. Just cut those babies right off. And just make a cloud go around. Actually, I think we'll cut that one that one off too, but we'll leave the, the leaves, because the leaves are easy to go around, and I, and inadvertently cut that leaf off. So we'll cut that one off too. Now you're gonna barely be able to see this. So don't stress about it, okay? You're just gonna add a little bit more dimension behind the big label that we're gonna put on here in a second. Just go around the edge, leave a little border just like the dies do. And again, if you don't wanna fussy cut, no problem, just leave this layer off. All right, so then I'm gonna put that here. See how that just kind of adds just a little more dimension. Now, you guys, your orders, if you wanna put in a Facebook Friday order by Monday at midnight, let's see, how do I want this? 
Maybe I'll do like that. You don't have to necessarily order this, okay? You can order anything you want. Um, but of course, if you're gonna make these projects, you're gonna need the stamps and, why do I keep losing the big shot? I keep putting it in weird places. You're gonna need the, the, um, the dies and the stamps, okay? Um, of course, you could substitute other things if you get it, even though you decided not to get this. I'm still gonna send you the projects. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? My camera seems very far out today, far from me. Oh, who just said they're ordering the trimmer? D, you're gonna order the trimmer, huh? Good, you'll like it. It's really um, lightweight and easy to transport. It's a good one to tuck in a drawer and just have, you know, um, available for you to move around and stuff. Here's the, um, the little die that I just used, a very beautiful little label. All right, Merry Christmas. This is my favorite font in the stamp set. Very scripty. I'm gonna do it in cherry cobbler. And everybody hold your breath and cross your fingers that Erica does not smear this when she puts it on, okay? All right, where's my, here's mine right here. Now we're gonna use another gold uh, lattice. This time I did it in gold. And I'm just gonna place some adhesive right here because the top half's gonna be covered up. I'm gonna put that down like that. Grab my dimensionals. Bam, bam, and don't smear, don't smear, don't smear. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those layers. So many layers, but wait, we're not done. This gold ribbon. This ribbon, um, you know, sometimes guys, we have ribbons that are hard to tie or ribbons that are bulky, um, but this ribbon, really easy to tie. And I feel like I need to spend some time with you guys tying bows because I've had some comments lately about not being able to tie bows. And I just really think that you guys totally can tie a bow. You just haven't had the proper instruction. So I think maybe we need to spend some time doing that. Ta-da, we are done, how beautiful. These would be uh, fun to mass produce because remember you're getting four sheets of this pattern in each package. So let's look and see. I think it's, oh, I can't even grab it, my goodness. I think out of each sheet, you've got one, two, three, four. So you would be able to get 12 boxes out of one pack of DSP if you made them all the same. All right, beautiful box. Thank you so much, Shannon. All right, last but not least, let's go back to our lovely, um, <laughs> I'm scared to say it, soft sea foam background that we did on Oh, my fingernails are going to leave fingernail polish on there. It's on watercolor paper. And we're going to cut it down to four. Actually, no, we're going to cut it down to three and three fourths by. Hi, Robin. How was Cats the other night? We're going tonight. I saw that you were there. Five. Three and three fourths by five. Okay. All right, where's my card base? Where did it go? Oh, you guys should see this table. It's embarrassing. All I need is, where's Denise? Denise, you should be here helping me. She's my assistant. And I've lost everything. The wheels have come off, third project every time, right? All right. Hmm. <laughs> well, we needed, I probably didn't even cut it. An early espresso card base is what we need. And I'm not finding it, so we're moving on and just doing this part. Now I'm gonna put down a little piece of grid paper. Oh, good gracious. What a mess, I've learned my lesson. And we're gonna get the Gold Glitz Reinker. Um, you could use the copper also. You could use shimmer paint. Just put a little dot right there. And I have one aqua painter that is reserved for my glitz and my shimmer and stuff, you can see it. And there's water in there and I'm just gonna drop some water, mix it up and splatter it. See how I'm using the edge of my lid like that, okay? And then I had a paper towel here somewhere. You wanna clean it, run it clean. 
and you can wipe your block off or use the rest up on something else. Debbie Green, you just did you just join us? Debbie, you're the winner from last week's prize. Yay, congratulations. Okay, now we've got a big blob there that also needs to dry, but we're not gonna wait. We're not gonna take the time. We're gonna just put this right here. It's gonna cover the blob anyway. And then, let's put this down. We'll stamp the sentiment in early espresso. And again, remember if you change the color of your rose, you could change your sentiment to be something that's not Christmassy. Happy birthday, thank you, thinking of you, hello, whatever. And then you've given your stamps you know, a, a farther reach, get, get more use out of them. And voila. One thing I didn't do that I was thinking later, why didn't I do that, is take some of these little tiny gold glimmer dots and put just a few. It's always better to have an odd number for some reason. The eye likes odd numbers, so there we go. And Pretend like you have a early espresso card base that you have prepared and voila. Gorgeous, right? Let's look at them. Here's Daffodil Delight, Cherry Cobbler, um, Balmy Blue, three different colors, three beautiful roses. Okay, you guys, so that is today, but wait, I've got a couple more projects to show you. Um, let me see, where's the wet one? I wanna make sure I keep that out of the way. So we've got that, we made that, we made these, we made the boxes. Then I want to show you my Stamp Club um, scrap of page. You know, I have that other watercolor card. Here it is. We have the watercolor card that was on the blog last night. And our all-star tutorial project. Look, fussy cut paper. Mm-hmm to use up those roses that don't have the dye. Now, if you're a Stamp Club member and you wanna be surprised, close your eyes, okay? Did I give you fair warning? Okay, thanks Robin, that's sweet of you. Here's our scrapbook page. Can't even get it all in. Um, see how I made that little cluster, put a gold circle there, but I used all the same stuff. There's that beautiful paper um, with the smaller roses. And then for my non-scrapbookers, here is their alternate card. I cut that, um, um, oh, what do you call it? The stitch nested label dies out of designer series paper. So pretty. And then here's a card I showed you day before last. This is a case from Stampin' Up. Again with a um, stamp radis. And I had, you probably can't tell, but I had, this is the card I had a lot of trouble with the berries. So I just took my stamp and blend and went in and colored them in. All right. So there you go. Christmas time is here. It is available now. Um, you can buy the whole suite for one price, or you can pick and choose the pieces you want. And don't forget that gorgeous little, little bracelet that you can get and gift to somebody. Okay, you guys, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be back next week. I have no idea what I'm going to do next week. So it'll be Christmas. I promise you that. Um, so make sure you join me next Friday which I believe is my mom's birthday. Yeah, my mom's birthday next next Friday um, at two o'clock central. And if you want the three projects we made today free um, next week in the mail, make sure that you put your orders in by Monday at midnight, mon by Monday at midnight and use the host code if your order is under 150. If your order is over 150, get your Stampin' Rewards and um, I'll still send you the projects, okay? Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next week. Bye, everybody.